What's up, foodies? Thank you so much for all the love you guys give me. I really, really, really appreciate that. Keep liking, sharing, subscribing. Now for today's recipe, we're gonna be making some uh, palak paneer. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get to making the recipe for you. All right, guys, so I have some ghee that's getting warm in here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add some jeera to it. So palak paneer, it's actually a very, very easy and very quick recipe. So after adding the jeera, I'm just gonna let it crackle um, just a little bit. Once the jeera is crackled, we're gonna start adding everything else with it. All right, guys, so now what we're gonna do is my jeera has crackled. I'm gonna go ahead and add one bay leaf, a little bit of long, and just a little bit of black pepper. Now with that, I'm gonna go ahead and add onions. I have finely, finely, finely chopped onions. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and add finely chopped green chili. And also, we're gonna go ahead and add ginger and garlic paste in here. So I have about two big spoon of ginger paste and two big spoon of garlic paste that I'm gonna go ahead and add in there. And then we're gonna cook until the onions are cooked properly. Um, so we're gonna let the onions get brown a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and add remaining spices in there. All right guys, so our, um, our onions and chili and garlic are cooked now. Now we're gonna go ahead and add spices to it. The spices are very, very, very simple. So we're gonna go ahead and add haldi. As you know, I love turmeric. So, a little bit of haldi powder. I'm also gonna add dhania powder. Again, remember I'm cooking for about four to five people. Uh, keep the spices in the proportion of the amount of people that you're cooking for. Now, I'm gonna add, just because we're not adding a lot of spices, I'm gonna add one spoon of little bit chili spice, uh, chili, um, uh, spicy chili. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of Kashmiri chili for the taste. Now we're gonna go ahead and let the masalas cook until the, the oil is separated or the ghee is separated. And then we're gonna go ahead and add remaining of the spices to it. All right guys, so once our spices are cooked perfectly, now at this point we're gonna go ahead and add tomatoes to it. And no, I haven't forgotten about tomatoes. For my palak paneer recipe, when I make it, I do like to add my tomatoes um, at the end. Now, once I add the tomatoes, what I'm gonna do, at this point, just to cook the tomatoes quicker, I'm gonna go ahead and add salt to taste. And again, remember I'm cooking for about five to six people. So, add salt to your taste. Make sure you don't over add salt to it. And at the same time, I'm just gonna add just a little bit of water so our tomatoes get cooked. All right guys, so our tomatoes are soft and smooshy now. Now at this point, to get the taste, like um, the daba taste, or to get a restaurant style taste, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go ahead and add a lot of kasuri methi. Normally I would add kasuri methi in the end, but for this recipe I'm gonna go ahead and add the kasuri methi, cook the kasuri methi for uh, one or two minutes, um, I'm sorry, 30 seconds or so, and then what we're gonna do after that is we're gonna go ahead and add some water, add some fresh cream, and add our pollock to it. Alright guys, so now at this point what we're gonna do is add just a little bit of water, and with that I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of heavy cream, give it a good mix, and then I'm gonna start adding our pollock to it. So, <clears throat> I've added the water, and I'm about to go ahead and add just a little bit of heavy cream. Again, I'm cooking for about five to six people. Um, keep the measurement to uh, the amount of people you're cooking for. Give it a good mix, once we give it a good mix, and once we get one little boil, after that, we're gonna go ahead and add our pollock to it. All right guys, so now at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our pollock to it. Now, once you add the pollock, you want to make sure that you keep stirring the pot. 
if you're not stirring the pot after adding the palak what it's gonna do is once palak starts cooking it's gonna start <clears throat> It's gonna start um, boiling out of the pan. So you wanna make sure that you keep moving the pan and keep cooking the palak in there. Um, also, um, I have blanched the palak and uh, made a fine paste off of it. So um, again, I know you know how to blanch palak, so I'm not gonna, uh, palak is spinach by the way, for all my non-Indian friends, uh, I'm not gonna teach you how to blanch the palak. So I'm gonna cook this for about a minute or two and then we're gonna come back to you. All right guys, so once our palak is cooked, what we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna start adding our paneer to it. And we're just adding raw paneer, having uh, deep fried them or anything. I'm um, just gonna go ahead and add paneer. Now one thing I'll tell you, one trick I'll share with you. So everyone that lives in US, if you are using frozen paneer, and if you want to get the paneer soft, what you can do is <clears throat> right before using the paneer, uh, microwave the paneer um, in a warm water for about like two minutes or so, and then you cut your cubes. Uh, by doing that, make sure you, uh, when you microwave the paneer, um, your paneer is completely soaked in the water. Now, when you do that, uh, you would get a very soft paneer, just like if it was fresh paneer. Now, once the paneer is added, we're gonna let it uh, uh, let it boil off one more time, and uh, pretty much your recipe is done. All right, guys. So as you know, the food is ready. I'm not waiting on you. Keep liking, sharing, subscribing. I really, really, really appreciate all your help. Thank you again for watching. Keep liking, sharing, subscribing. Until next time, have a great day.